Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts DLC. Let's get on our way to the rain no not the ranger station, um Sorrow Camp. Wherever that might be. I kinda wanted to Wow, we are far from where Like really? Holy crud. So this whole little place is just just a dead end. That's that's cool. That's fine. I wonder if I wonder if like the plant people are only here and that's what's so special about this area or if there's going to be more plant people out there cuz that's kind of creepy. Those people literally freaked the fuck out of me in that vault, and I honestly thought I would never see them again outside of there, but... No. It's like the game read my mind. I'm like, I don't want to see those people again. It's like, nope, sorry. You gotta. <laughs> Here you go. Have fun. The Narrows, huh? Wait, wh where's this caterpillar mound? That thing? Are you kidding me? Yep. Okay. Well, there's stuff to take, I guess. Is there a special reason this is called Caterpillar's Mound? I mean, I know it's a big hill thing and all, but... Okay. <laughs> Look at Chalks go. He's flying. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Do they have traps in the water too? Cause that'd be kind of mean. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye out. I'm paranoid about traps. Well, not really paranoid enough because I don't pay attention enough. Hello? Are you supposed to be greeting me? I think you are. And I just kind of screwed it up by walking up You are up the here. one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Uh, like a bear glove, or can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Guai that threatened our people. Our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. But I've already slain like five Yao Guai coming here. Give me some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. The English? The Holy Books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment, but the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Great! Brainwashed people. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed. And so here I am. Interesting. What? Tell me more about your tribe. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the Caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. 
We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. What do you know about the Salt Upon Wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. And who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? No. He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts. But we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him, and were punished with the end that came in fire, and the loss of the Holy Tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Then I will look forward to our... Alright, lady. Interesting. Religious fanatics. My favorite. I find it kind of weird that she can slide <gasps> off of. Did you hurt yourself? Why didn't you just bum slide down the mountain like I did? Hmm? Silly. You're just gonna get up and say something and then go back to sleep, aren't you? Oh, you actually talk, talk? Oh no, no you don't. Dude, would you stop pushing me around? Whenever I stand still around him, he like, just pushes me. It's kinda weird. Am I supposed to go up there, or can I navigate through down here? I feel like I have to go up. But, uh, maybe not. Maybe I can go up from this side. Okay, I'm sorry about that abrupt cut, but from what I can see, Fraps just kind of spazzed out on me. I don't... I think when the video stopped recording, I was around here or someplace. I actually got, well, not that much further because the game started glitching out, and then I figured it was Fraps' fault, and it was. So basically what I did was I went over here, I saw something fall and splash like that, I guess it just happens again, and I went down here, found this suitcase, which had pre-war money really and uh, a place where people stuff like that. Give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Let's call it a casino. And I also talked to Daniels a bit, but I know it was like glitching. It was making him talk really, really fast, but with no audio. I gotta find a freaking dude again. Uh. And you guys will probably miss out on some of the dialogue unless it gives me the option to say it to him again. Where did he go? I... Those aren't him. Nope. Well, I know it's not him because he looks different, but I just meant nope as in they don't have anything interesting to say. Dude, where did you go? 
Oh, did you honestly go back this way? That's annoying. Stupid fraps, stupid bugs, stupid everything. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, you're up there? Oh, fucking hell. Um. How do I. Oh my god. I gotta walk all the way back out here. Are you kidding me? Are you. Yeah, you're a dead horse. What are you doing in here? I guess the tribes don't really mind very much if other friendly tribes come in. Oh. That's interesting. Are you serious? How do I get up there? Oh my god, this place! You know what? I'm gonna Why start back up when I find it. Anyway? They jangle like crazy. Yeah, well, when you have like thousands of them, that's what happens. There you are! You're glitched. In a wall. I can't talk to you. I... Dude. Seriously? Really? You know, I... No words. No words. <laughs> what do you- what do I do now? <laughs> Ugh. Fast travel. <laughs> Maybe it'll reset him. I hope it does anyways. Because if not... I'm kinda screwed? If you're in the rocks again, dude, I am going to kill you. Seriously, gonna pull my gun out and kill you. I can't even kill you. Oh god, why? Why does this happen to me? I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I guess I'll try restarting my game without saving.